Dear students, welcome to my channel and today, dear students, we are going to pass through the Literature in English uh, Nectar question of 2021, question number four. This was based on poetry uh, and the question reads as follows. Read the following poem and then answer the questions that follow. A baby is a European by Ewe Togo. A baby is a European. He does not eat our food. He drinks from his own water pot. A baby is a European. He does not speak our tongue. He is cross when the mother understands him not. A baby is a European. He cares very little for others. He forces his will upon his parents. The following are the questions, ladies and gentlemen, from this poem. Question A. Briefly explain what the poem is about. Well, this poem is about a person who alienates his own people because of education. He abandons his culture and lives like a white person while he is African. The persona says, a baby is a European. This indicates how the person being spoken in this poem has changed his behavior and he pretends to be like a white man. Question B. Briefly explain two literary devices found in the poem okay there are some of the little devices that are found or that can be found in this poem the first little device that i see here is metaphor and the metaphor this is a direct comparison between things without using conjunction and here we can see the title itself is metaphorical. The title itself is A Baby is a European, which is like to say a baby is like a European. Therefore, a baby and a European are compared, but there is no conjunction in between. Okay, so apart from metaphor, we have also a repetition. Okay, so the phrase a baby is a European is repeated several times in this poem. Of course, in all of stanzas, stanza 1, stanza 2, and stanza 3, all contain the phrase, a baby is a European. This is repetition. If you like, it is called anaphora. Okay, so, okay, so, question number C says, which language does the baby speak? Give a reason. Okay, dear students, according to the, to the poem, a baby speaks uh, a foreign language, a language that is quite different from his own. And uh, the evidence can be seen when you get back to the poem uh, on stanza 2. The persona says, he does not speak our tongue. So if he does not speak their tongue, what other language does he speak? So probably it is a foreign language. Okay, dear students, apart from that, we have question D. How does the baby treat his own father and mother? So the baby does not respect them. He forces his will upon them. Okay, part E, is the poem relevant to our society? Give a reason for your answer. Yes, the poem is relevant because up to now there are people who does not respect their parents. Thank you.